I tell you my mother's here. Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. In honor of the fall classic, Servo's gonna chuck a few in here. We're gonna play a little hardball. Come on, stand in there, baby. Oh, we bet I'm gonna stand in here, baby. Come on, come on, come on, here we go, here we go. Oh, hey! <laughs> Hyria? What do you mean, Hyria? That ball almost hit me. Mike, you can't argue balls and strikes. Yeah. I'll bounce you. What's the matter, Nelson? Can't handle a little chin music? Come on, you mama's boy, you weak tip. Come on, come on, give me that weak ass cheese. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Nelson, come on. Oh, you're going to give it to me. I'll give it right back to you. Put some french fried potatoes for you, pal. Oh, thanks a lot, sir. I'm sorry. What was that you said? I said thanks. Okay. Oh, you. Mike, now say I was born on a pirate ship. I was born on a pirate Hey, sir. Canned is not good because I think that. Well, why don't we get the cans and the bottles? We'll have that to get the cans and the bottles. Hi, guys. Uh, Pearl and I have some news for you. Cool beans are at the studio ball. One of your screenplays, Earth vs. Soup. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, oh no Honey. way. Oh, man. Oh, no way. Oh, oh man. Don't. I finally sold the screenplay. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, people. Uh, the long and short of it is that Mother and I are in charge, and we'll be shepherding your little project for the studio. Mm -hmm, great. Okay, guys. We need to talk about some things. Do you have all your people there? Good. Uh, do you have your scripts? Uh, is everyone set to go? How was lunch? Okay, great. Art, I have looked over your script. Oh, good. Uh, let me just say that I will not have the script tampered with. And clearly there are some major script revisions needed. Uh, sure. Uh, great. Absolutely. Fine, fine, whatever. And uh, 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 what kind of budget are we looking at here, uh, Pearl, uh, Dr. Forrester? <laughs> well, we could only get you about $30 million for the entire movie. So how that shakes out is uh, roughly, well, 10% for each of us, 10% uh, for the company, insurance. Uh... Administration, holding fee, completion bonds. So we should be able to shoot you about eight hundred dollars for the entire movie what <laughs> eight hundred from for thirty mil i can't do anything for eight hundred dollars come on huh hal needham once said give me a firebird and a dilapidated building and i'll give you drama oh eight hundred sounds fine oh, okay all right okay okay we're making a movie hey you guys hey. are going to be in my movie all right yeah and the studio insists on Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon? How are we supposed to get Kevin Bacon? We can't afford him. How are we going to get him up here? Well, again, guys, this is the big time. Well, the time has come to look at this issue, and by the end of the day, we'll be glad you did. Okay, 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 okay. Sure, fine. Sounds good. I'll get my people right on that. Uh, oh, and uh, Dr. Forrester, Pearl, thank you. Okay, people, what are we doing standing okay, around here? Right, We've right, got right, movies right, 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 Round guy with Surfboard International. <laughs> Shouldn't we be looking through a pinhole and a piece of cardboard? Yep, looks like we saved Kuwait again. <laughs> Edie Sedgwick, no! Ah, global warming is a big ruse by some liberal pablum puking liberals! <laughs> Ah, this has Rosenberg to the max. <laughs> Ground control to Rosenberg. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report conditions good. Low humidity. T minus 25 seconds. Mets lost today. 20 seconds and counting. The George Hamilton story. <laughs> Guidance internal. Are these guys talking to us? 12, 11, 
11. Hmm. See the guy they jam into freeway nine. overpasses? <laughs> Ignition sequence occurs. Six. And it just five, goes on from there. You get the idea. Four, Boy, I'm three, cold. Brr. Two. <laughs> Brr. <one. laughs> lift off. We have a lift off. Don't we? Come on, back me up on this. Don't we have a lift off? Boy, they got the Saturn fast. Well, it's all freeways now. Mm -hmm. Just zip right there. Just to be all scorpio cool. 5 to Houston Control. I just called the time. 40 seconds. Well, somebody better start melding pretty soon or I'm going to lose patience. <laughs> I hope they have Houston on the speed dial. They should call them now. Houston Control. Good at one minute. Roger. These are so flexible, I can pick up a dime over. They shouldn't have had Phil Spector design their space capsule. Thanks for camping out with me. Thought you were going to turn the yard light off. Shut down 210 by 305.6. I still think we should have gone to Venus. Rings. Roger, we copy. All's confirmed. Lose contact through Saturn's rings. Pick up 105.8. Good luck. Thank you. Roger out. Really, thank you. You've been great. RCS indicates green. Green confirmed. I Oxygen knew that. Meters auto. Now, can you stir the tanks without killing us this time? I am you, player to reverse. You are not me. Quit saying that. No one has ever seen anything like this. We're still on the pad, Ron. Fakey. The Russians! Hey, Yorkie! Back. What's the confusometer? It's all the same crap from Apollo 13. Hey, it's us. There we are. <laughs> Houston, Scorpio. Steve, do you... H Houston, could you turn your radio down, please? Steve, are you all right? Communications back. I read you, I read you. Just blow up and melt. Oh, come on. <laughs> Magnificent. Hmm? You've never seen anything until you've seen the sun through the rings of Saturn. Yeah, that's not what this is, but we'll show you a film that sort of suggests it. Uh, how much did you guys like Jupiter? Uh, I think we just blew it up. Sorry, over. Uh... Yeah, I suppose. We ought to get back to Saturn. Yeah. Well, it kind of looks like a map of Vietnam. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm Leroy Neiman. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was one hot burrito. Well, oh, well, oh. well, let's go to picture picture. <laughs> You're looking live at the parquet floor of NASA's hospital. I hope that's not Rosie O'Donnell. I don't think the happy clown therapy is helping. <laughs> well, melted at 1.30 and at 4 o'clock. Hmm. Let's see, recumbent bikes available at four. Nothing's helping. I tried scrubbing them out. I've never seen anything like it. Linda Ronstadt. Why was he the only one to survive? He looks like a bowling ball. Printer cable came undone. <laughs> I better call Ted Nelson. Check his vital signs every 15 minutes and replace the IV with units of whole blood. Not 2%. Yes, sir. I'll send for an order. No. Get it yourself. Mm. It's imperative that this be kept secret. Yes. And I'll need a more tight-fitting uniform. I'll just wait here. <laughs> oh, what are you looking to do? Hello? Andy Pinned. <laughs> <laughs> they should have taken his ski boots off before they put him down. Someone put the key on the ceiling, please. Well, he's got a nice chambray shirt on. Yeah. Bed pan, bed. Never mind. Oh, I really should get up. Oh, I'm in the mood for 14 cc of Ringer's lactate or something. I've been jerked. My wedding ring. Where's my wedding ring? He's in with some kid getting his tonsils out. <laughs> I came in for a vasectomy. Oh, no, save the wrapping. 
<laughs> I'm a dried apple head. You'll find me in a shop in Door County. Uh, Melt, you got a little something on you. Uh, marshmallows, I hate marshmallows. Uh, Keith Moon in the hospital. <laughs> Oh, come on. I need reassurance right now. I'm feeling kind of vulnerable. That's some weak Kool-Aid, huh? <laughs> huh? Why is she running through the easy mini storage? <laughs> we can repair her. She'll be better, faster, stronger. <laughs> I suppose this is where they keep all the parts, then. Come to Organ Donor City. We'll help you find the organ that's just right for you. She's a tad squeamish for a nurse. Oh, no, no, I'll get the door. Thank you. My dress is too small. Oh, oh that's doubly painful. Ow. <laughs> He's on rollerblades. I'm not going to look silly in this shot, am I? I will maintain my dignity. This week on emergency patient drop off. <laughs> well, doctor, shall we uncover the buffet? All right, what have you got? Over here. What have we got? We've got a lot. We've got a team that's red hot. Why don't I just weigh my salad and then we'll start the autopsy? I pulled her wisdom teeth out through her skull. Well, what do you think? I told her not to pick at that thing. Don't quote me. But this wasn't any animal. I had misidentified her as an elk. <laughs> and, uh, that's not all. It gets worse. We couldn't get a tea time. I'm speaking to you from the fallopian throne. Great. <laughs> She's full of crickets. No, it's, uh, it's not enough to harm us, Ted. But the radiation is not our real problem. Huh? We don't even know whether it's contagious or not. I can't believe you said that to me. That really hurt. Dr. Maud and Dr. Groovy. <laughs> shouldn't have escaped. They're not going to like this, Ted. That's 8 o'clock coffee. It's all we had. Sorry. Boy, the hectic pace of a doctor's life, huh? I like the haphazard array of medical I tools. still don't believe <laughs> it. Uh, don't you think you better uh, Lick me? call General Perry? Rise to Dallas. General Perry. General Perry. He's not here. Nelson. Oh. I don't know, maybe a thousand whoppers this morning, but, uh... I don't know. How are you, Doctor? Not too good. There's a black guy in my office. Somebody's come up, General. What do you mean? It's about Steve. He escaped. Uh, you want to talk to Ma Frickert? <laughs> How long ago? About three and a half hours ago. Who knows about it? Just me and half a nurse. Dr. Loring and myself. All right, you keep it that way. General, I just Doctor, told you this. To yeah. We've got to find him. We've got to get him back and reconfine him before he hurts someone. Are you done interrupting? No, he has. You kill one of our nurses, General. Oh, my God. General, he was stronger than the others. That's why he lasted so long. Can I use the phone? Uh, I don't know why, General, but he seems to be getting stronger all the time. How do I get this sloppy out? Come up with some answers. We've got to know. We've got to know exactly what happened before we start to. Oh wait, he just came in. Before tomorrow morning. You want it when? I know that, General. Then get out there and find him. General, I will. Right away. Ah, the oyster and grapefruit breakfast. Oh, look at the gunk. What is that skin in those little holes? Yeah, Let's go put dog poop on his porch. <laughs> Fifth Street. Oh, he's been to a movie theater. <laughs> he's talking to himself like Grandma. Then you're a pound. Dean Martin. <laughs> Is he fishing for sewer rats? <laughs> Got another condom, cigarette. Oh, there's a body over there. Jesus is coming in his magic spaceship. Remember? Ready came. The dogs are on me. 
Calumet Harbor means two things to these guys. Stunted bullheads and old Milwaukee beer. Give us a blood. St. Peter. <laughs> Who's that? Anybody in there? Come on out. Randy Johnson. Join me, Lou. Who's in there? Oh, it's Bill Gates. Oh. Hey, you're going to scare the fish. I there. think the fish can handle it. Who's back there? I like his moon boots. <laughs> Come on out. Have you tried Windows 95 yet? Playing some kind of game? Or are you Melting Man who's going to eat my face? <laughs> hey, you got protoplasm in my peanut butter. Judy's pregnant again. Hey, that's great. Isn't it? They're great, thanks. Yeah, I'm so happy. If she messes it up this time, she's gone. Hope this business doesn't screw things up. How many weeks is she? Fourteen. Oh, you're going to be pregnant. It's a cheat. Another two about this same time. Are we moving or is it the building? This will be all she'll need. I suppose you'll um, have to tell her, huh? That she's pregnant? Yeah. Well, I'm not very good about keeping secrets from her. Anyway, Steve was <laughs> a friend of ours. <laughs> Poor guy. He must be going through hell now. When do you think the people who work here are coming back? I don't know. How far is your locker? Remember now, his mind is so completely decomposed that by now there'll be no, be no rational move. I'm not getting anything here. Occasional flashes with no pattern. He's going to need human cells yeah. to live on. Yeah. His instinct was killing to kill. That's why he killed the nurse. No, that was a freebie. That's about it. Hit the water on the right side of the green. There's your Windows 95. Take care of things for me. You got it, Ace. Sure, Ted, don't worry. Have a good trip. You know, whenever anybody says to me, don't worry, that's when I start to worry. Well, I wouldn't worry about this. Dad's kind of into ham radio. NASA's a sucker for any very large array salesman. <laughs> These 70 small dishes attached to any house, allowing for excellent reception. Employees of Paragon Cable, please welcome the President of the United States. Morning, sweetums. Oh, I guess I'll drive then. Should never have done that stint on Mork and Mindy. Driver, what's it like up there? I'll see if I should swing by, pick up some durkies. Hello. Dr. Nelson, this is Perry. You have any news for me? Hmm? Not yet. I just got in. Had to make soup. You're lucky you caught me. I'm coming down there, Doctor. I'll be leaving within the hour. I'm flying a civil jet. I want you to meet me. Well, this is so bogus that I have well, to work. What time are you going to get here? Are you bringing Bryce? About 1,600 hours. I hope the hell you found him by then. 1,600 hours? So like five months from now? What? Goodbye. Should I have said goodbye? Damn it. The Hodgka! Uh, Hodgka, of course. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Sweetheart, I didn't hear you come in. That bastard hung up on me for the second time today. Karen and Richard Carpenter at home. That. that was General Perry on the phone. Yeah, at least it was you. until he hung up on me. Why don't you just sit down and relax and I'll get your lunch. So, how's your body coming? I had my breasts lowered and my hips pulled out at odd angles. I hope that's okay. Ooh, her area dominates her front side. <laughs> General wants me to go find the Hodgka melting man. Steve escaped. Oh, God. Hodgka? What are you going to do? Well, first, I've got to lose a little weight. <laughs> uh, did you get some crackers? I told you yesterday that we needed some crackers. Oh, I forgot. I knew there was something. Hodgka. You know, there's a, there's a pad right by the phone, you know. You could write it down, too. <laughs> you know, they made a mistake and they just went home with the actors. <laughs> so, we don't have any crackers? Ted, Steve. <laughs> Raging Bull. <laughs> Steve? Steve had crackers. I've got to go out and find Steve. Why you? Because nobody else is supposed to know. Rye crisps, sociables, anything? You, so please, don't forget that fact when the general gets here. That's all I'd need. How are you going to find him? I can use the Geiger counter. I can... Uh, Follow his trail with it. Geiger counter? You mean he's radioactive? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little? How long have I been 40 years older than you? Tinkerbell, come down out of that tree. Wait. 
way down upon the Swanee River. Oh, 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 where are my glasses? I can't see a thing. Oh, boy. Fucking a headwind here. <laughs> that is one light head, by the way. He's off the ramp. <laughs> oh, and he's oh. bursting with flavor, too. From the land of blood red water. On the bright side, at least I didn't break my back. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. Joe Camel says we should. <laughs> it's alive with pleasure. Man, it's my turn. It's smooth. <laughs> just can't see us ever regretting see, this. I don't cough. You don't inhale, that's why you don't cough. Anyway, let's get cracking on that script. Look at what I see. Nosy. I won't tell. I'm no tattletale. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll play doctor. <laughs> no. Architect? Want to play and seek? Yeah. yeah, if you let me try it. Well, that's buttered out. Uh, oh, she's gonna get lipstick on it. <coughs> it's evil! <coughs> See? Sue. <coughs> it's awful! Don't insult my cigarettes. <laughs> I'll never kiss her. She smokes. Come on, let's play down by the waterfall. Come on. Yeah, maybe we'll find Conrad Janice's skull. We're free and it's fun and we're innocent and it'll be sad when we find the head. Ding, 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 ding. There's a world going on under from the... Hey, wait a minute. I need a cigarette. This used to be our fort. <laughs> but some big okay. kids knocked it down. That's too bad. Come on, let's go. Women are so good at empathy. Mm. Okay, listen up, everyone. Our film execs, Pearl and Clay, thought it might be a good idea to use a small 45% of the budget and take a shuttlecraft up here and have a little script confab. A one-page script? Can't we handle it by phone? A button it, meat puppet, or I'll make sure you can't even get a job in TV when this is over. Whew. I'll pull the middle out of those bagels. Ah, they're here. Oh, Clay, <laughs> Pearl, welcome. Uh, sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, we've got a busy day. What have you got for us? Well, to start, why don't we grab a seat, then I'll just nip off for some Pellegrinos. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how was this? Have a good just flight up here? Introduce good. me. Good. Oh, right. Uh, Clay, Pearl, have you met Tom Sir? No, let's go. Okay. okay, great. Start uh, with uh, page right. 1A with the script uh, changes. I don't have 1A. I just have one. Did you guys fax us the changes? You... Yes, ma'am. Shot those off a while ago. Uh, is, I don't have that. This is yeah, the we'll, we'll February 11th. The February 11th? Oh, you this. must have Peter Graves at the University of Minnesota. Yeah, you don't. That's no neither one of these are any Let's good get copies of the March 15th. You do need the last three pages yeah, the March because that is the March 15th meeting. So each one take that one there. All right. And also, we did that March 8th meeting, and this is what we came up with. Only the second page of that one. Only the first page. Only the second page. No, because we had this one. You have that one? No, I don't think you have that one. I'll take that one. And then, uh... Yeah, that's right. Put that behind the other ones, okay? I don't have one of those, too. I don't have one of those, much. That should take care of it, so let's get started. Okay, people, we've got a screening to get to. Great meeting. I really think we're getting there. Wait, wait! Uh, we got commercial sign. We'll uh, call you. Okay. <laughs> Great meeting, man. <laughs> and a zoom, 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 a zoom. What? Look back. Look, Mom, I don't want to be in Dad's movie anymore. Seve Ballesteros is way off the fairway. I heard you. You're behind that tree. Now come on out. I'm trying to kill you. There are no rules per se. <laughs> Please, honey, don't do that. No. Okay, we're going to try it again. You need to scream right away, Susan. Oh, like you're a total fox. <laughs> My radio keratotomy surgery went haywire. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. Am I it now? Hey, no screaming unless melting men are after you. <laughs> oh, nice. Very funny article in Swank or what? 
probably very hard to love kids back in the 70s. Help me help! It's Frankenstein! Oh, no, Frankenstein wasn't the actual monster. He was the doctor. Oh, got hit right in the breadbasket there. We will return to Denim Theater. Come on, honey. I saw Frankenstein in the woods. I'm not oh, coming dear. back, Jim. <laughs> what a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Uh, Mr. Dung Beetle, saw what happened. Would you care to comment? Steve, it's Ted. Oh, that'll bring him in. <laughs> Let me help you. No, no, not over there. Whoa, whoa. There'll be no more of those scary horror movies for you. No wonder you're seeing things. There is no such thing as Frankenstein. It's a story like Snow White. Can you hear me, Steve? I'm all alone. I want to help you. I want to share my secrets with you, Steve. Just call. Doesn't anybody want to sing karaoke with me? Steve, I want to help you. You can't survive out here by yourself. They shrunk me and I'm trapped on this huge log. <laughs> Come on back to the hospital, Steve. They have jello today, Steve. You can help others. We've got to find out what went wrong, Steve. Billy Jack at Los Alamos. <laughs> there must be some crinkly foil somewhere. Steve, I found some lovely wild fennel. Oh, no. I never wanted to see a scat. This would be going so much better if he'd eaten some crackers. <laughs> I'm actually beginning to hate Hans Geiger. No. They keep the wrist straight. Oh, no, easy, big fella, easy. Say, there's a school of crappies in there. Maybe if we're lucky, he'll get gored by a radioactive elk. <laughs> Steve? You're overloading my Detectron. Steve, it's me, Ted Nelson. Of Ted Nelson Plumbing and Heating. Steve, I want to help you. Okay, fine. It's getting to the point where I don't want to help you. Uh, just let me, uh, got to squeeze through here. I'll... Ted Nelson. Ted Nelson. Ted Nelson. 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 Ted Crazy Legs Nelson. Remember I put the condom on Mr. Carter's desk? Oh, he's got the metronome turned up way too fast. Oh, God, Miss, Mrs. Robinson, no, no. Ooh, the chestnut blight is bad this year. I think that fell off a Chianti bottle. Oh, God, it's his ear. I've been following Von Gogh. <laughs> the Beatles! Woo! Oh, nobody here. Damn it, you maggots. Where the hell are you? Nope. It's Yosemite Sam. Rootness, tootness, shootness, varmint. I take you to the grill, man. Fifty dollar U.S. no problem. So using that big pen to indicate scale. Doctor? General? Did anything happen? I thought I had him, but I lost him. And we're out of crackers. I think Mr. Moe will change clothes. They may have a lot of hunting to do. All right? Don't just break, sorry. <laughs> That'll be cut, right? <laughs> Golf clubs! Ted Nelson. Ted Nelson. Did you keep it on the road, Ted Nelson? I don't like the looks of that. Roving bands of coroners. Right, better check it out. Right, let's go. Perhaps we can improve its looks. Uh, wasn't it back the other way? You could... Uh, uh, yeah, let's not check it out. You're right. I suppose it's an emergency. This is my pole. No, it's my pole. Cat Stevens is on the scene. Not now, Gary. We now return to Enos. 
Great show. The general has something to tell you. Go ahead, General. Tell him how you don't like the looks of this. Hi, Doc. Neil? Well, I'd rather stand if you don't mind. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? You can paint my house. No, there's nothing anybody can do for him. Let's cover up the naughty bits here. Oh, uh... You've met Lydia. O'Neill, this is, uh... This is Michael Perry. He's visiting the research center. Uh, as a friend. Neil Blake, please meet you. Sheriff, sure. Remit. <laughs> O'Neill, would you mind if I, um... Uh, I called you sometime? Took a look at the body? Hell no, Doc. As a matter of fact, you may be able to tell us what in blazes happened to the guy. Yeah. Been a sheriff most of this movie, and I've never seen anything like it. Tell me, where do the children play? <laughs> <laughs> Nice sweater, though. Yeah, had his lawnmower up on blocks to repair it, poor dope. Oh, man, he likes me, don't. Oh, my stars. Oh, Carlo Gambino. <laughs> well, all tucked in then? Good. Okay. I'm gonna get this scumbag out of here. Preggers, no crackers, well, now I this. Thought you'd be interested. Not good. I'm not saying I'm gonna buy it. Well, it looks to me like that it was done by, uh, you know, like a wild animal. Mm. You know, like a bear. Mm -hmm. No bears around here anymore, Doc. You know that. Well, maybe an emperor limpet. Yeah. Wouldn't happen to know anything about this case, would you? Nope. That's what I thought. Take care. Is he playing a high school kid or an eminent physician? Let's get him out of here. Come on. Okay, that's it. Lick your grill. Come on. Throw your wipers back. Show me a little more tire. <laughs> Reminisces about countdowns. It's mellow countdowns of the 70s. By 305. I am a fugitive from the pajama game. Uh, I've just got up to running this morning. Ugh. Contact through Saturn's rings. Pick up 10, 5.8. Customer needs assistance and housewares. Thanks. Roger out. Only love. Only love. This is Houston Control. Communication back. Can you read me? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just had the weirdest Steve, dream. Are you all right? Communication back. I read you. I read you. Good. This, this scene again. Magnificent. You've never seen anything. You've seen the sun through the rings of Saturn. Saturn. Well, now that they show it again, I can really see what they were getting. Yeah. Caution: filling is hot. Had these been actual pictures of the rings of Saturn? Oh, I'm glad my mom bought me this snowsuit. Now, there's a hellfire and brimstone watch for Steele, Millax, and Goodhue counties. This makes me thirsty for a Corona. <laughs> uh, Houston, put Mr. Woodman on. Cotter has a nosebleed. Oh. <laughs> wow, that went down the wrong pipe. It's the brute man. What's the matter? Don't you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone would rake so it wouldn't stick to everything. Half the fun of having stumps is red goo shoes. Sorry. Wow, his pen blew up again. Oh, oh, I'm losing it. Look out. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. It's cool. I'm leaving. No hassle, man. He needs a mission statement. How do we convey the fact that a phone is ringing? Hello? Hi, it's me. Any crackers yet? Right? I swiped a moon pie and they caught me. Yeah, I'm fine. Is the general there? Yes. Did you find him? You are whipped. Just answer no. <laughs> no. I'm done with your girlfriend. Are you going out again? I love you, baby. Oh, so I much. really don't know. Oh, oh. Do you wish you were dead? I 
just a minute and I'll ask. Hey, you want to eat over? You can't too bad. I'm sorry. Would you both like to come to our house for dinner tonight? God, no. Uh, not tonight. Thanks, Ted. All I want to do is go home and get some sleep. I have to run this place while you're gone. So he has to supervise himself? I'll accept that invitation, Doctor. But I warn you, I'm in a wild mood. We'll take a break. <laughs> General Perry would love to come to dinner. <sighs> okay. Oh, by the way, Mother and her friend uh, Harold are coming over, too. Jesus, this is sitcom noir. Hey, come on, please, not tonight. Uh, uh, can't, you, can't you call them or something? I, I don't think that I could take it tonight. I can't. They're already on their way. I should have been here by now. Oh, look, another bat. Do you think we ought to stop and call, tell them we're late? Well, they already know we're late, don't they? They were broad-minded to cast aliens in Maybe this role. Maybe you should stop and buy them a gift or something. A rubber novel? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, candy or flowers? Or a lemur? Well, you know I don't like buying flowers. It's such a waste of money. They die so quickly. And Judy should not eat candy during her pregnancy. My mother ate candy. I turned out fine. <laughs> I, I know you wanted the candy for yourself. I did not. The gin game. I still think we should call him. Someone switch yeah. reels on we'll us? be there in a few minutes. I'm taking a shortcut. No kidding. <laughs> I thought this was Park Avenue. The incredible melting grandma. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, baby. No. You're the greatest. While I'm driving. Not while still I'm driving. better than Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man, they could knock a buzzard off a garbage scum. Oh, look, there's an orange grove. I'm going to squeeze one of those and let the juice drip down my body. Hello? There's a dead turtle. Let's bring that. Lemons, not oranges. Who let one? You're no fun anymore. Besides, lemons would be better. I can make you a nice lemon meringue pie. Would you like that, darling? She's the crack magazine guy. Right. Go steal your lemon. <laughs> she looks like a killer clown from outer space. I'm in the M. I'm driving, Ellen. You old buddy, daddy. Oh, God, no more of that scene. It really gets to me. <laughs> I think it's starting to clear up a little. Look harder, Simba. Shut up, stupid water. Shut up. I think his shampoo had the wrong pH. <laughs> Lay me down in the tall grass on, and honey. let me do my stuff. Oh, she's got huge bird I'm feet. Yeah, yeah. Let's go down here. <laughs> you know, we could, we, we could go to jail for this. Oh, Harold. I love my go-go boots. Oh. And they were never seen again. Cross your fingers. The Zardan said they would meet us here. <laughs> By the way, I just like to cuddle. Oh, isn't this romantic? Uh -huh. Look at that moon. Isn't it beautiful? Just pick your lemons and leave, Clara. We should be quiet now, okay? Well, I'm not the one who's doing the talking. <laughs> Skyrockets in flight. Uh -huh. I just thought of something. What? Oh, wait, I forgot. Where can we put the lemon? Oh, here. You just pick them and, and throw, toss them down in here. Helen? Harold? What is happening? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now be careful. You're hard. Of course I'll be careful. Be quiet, Harold. All right. Get busy. Well, oh, that's later, dear. Put your leg up here, honey. Oh, oh, I'm scared. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's hide in one of your skin flaps. <laughs> there are yards of cable and 15 operators required to run these people. Oh, an ulster hound. Oh, not yet. Hold on to him. Okay, now. <laughs> the getaway. Oh, God, we forgot our coffee discount at Burger King. No bad dogs, my ass. Maybe it's the dog with the hip replacement. Oh, 
the old ticket's really gone. And so is the heart. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Yes, I think so. Why, why don't we stop in town and get a nice bottle of wine? Drink it in the oh, car. That's a good idea. Folks, I'm with the DNR. I'm investigating the theft of some lemons from this grove. Yeah, I'm worried about my mother and Harold. They should have been here by now. You know how the citrus industry tempts them. How long have you tried calling her apartment? Yeah, every ten minutes for the last hour. Well, then they must be dead, then. Well, what about his place? Do we have his number? Oh, his phone's been disconnected. Listen, I bet I know what happened. Bet you that old Carvis broke down. You know, there's got to be a simple explanation. To stop worrying. He probably went off the road and hit a bridge I'm above sorry. me. It's just, I don't know, Steve, the mother. No face, no crackers. I'm frightened. What about Steve, Mrs. Nelson? And uh, why are you frightened? Well, come on in, I guess. General Perry. Yeah. I thought you were taking a nap. I was. It seems I awakened just in time. I had a bad dream. Doctor, you are a civilian. But in this emergency, you're under my direct command. And I was quite specific when I told you that no information would be divulged to anybody. Oh, for Christ's sake. She's my wife. That does not exclude her from my orders. Everybody's going to know about it by morning. You watch yourself. You know, maybe Mr. Robot will want a southern accent. Well, I'm off. I got things to do. Oh, All Gipsy. right. Hello, everyone. Sorry, sorry. Oh, hello, Gypsy. Hi. You look splendid today. <gasps> Mr. Kevin Bacon, lovely to work with you again. Lovely, beautiful. Well, 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 what are we doing? Judy, what are we doing? We are shooting the film today, Mr. Robot, and we're all set. And the camera? Right where it always is, Mr. Robot, right over there. None of your lip, Judy. Thank you. Ah, Kembot, wonderful. Let's see if we can't squeeze a little of your magic onto 35 millimeter. Hmm, ne sais pas. Bro, <laughs> hey, can we get going? Because, you know, we got to get Of back course, to Judy, what am I doing? Still shooting the first scene, Mr. Robot. Excellent. And... Action! Uh, roll sound. Uh, roll sound! Speed! The camera. Uh, I know. Camera! Rolling! Marker! 101A, take one. <coughs> and... Action! Crow? Cut! Damn it! What is your problem, Kevin? Well, it's, you're right in the shot. I'm sorry. Oh. Ah! So I am. And suddenly you've become the director. Well, I guess we can't shoot today. Mr. Bacon isn't very happy. Well, just so happens that Cassavetes was in plenty of his own films. And so is Stallone, Coleman Francis, Hal Needham, all the greats. I, know, I just didn't think he wanted to be smack dab. And Very good. Push. Judy, what am I doing? We're doing another take, Mr. Robot. Excellent. And this time I choose not to be in the scene. Okay, and action! Uh, roll sound. Uh, roll sound. Speed. Camera, camera. I know. Camera. Rolling. <laughs> Marker. 101A, take two. And... Action. Why, well, sweet Marie, you know, you, I got to hang... print. That's a wrap, everyone. Beautiful work. Thank you so much. It's wait, been wait, a wonderful time. Wait, that's it? That's all? I didn't get to say beans. Oh, well, we'll loop the lines in ADR. The rest is second unit stuff. Thank you, everyone. I'm <laughs> off. Bye. Or dope spent the whole 800 bucks on the scarf. Oh, we got movie silence. Hey, we got hey, movie silence. Get out of here. really sunk this low, am I really going to start digging up bodies? Those old folks gave him a taste for aged meat. <laughs> uh, Benjamin gets to the church a little late. Churches are eager for new members. They'll probably just let him right in. I just hope he eats the crypt keeper while he's there. <laughs> God bless Drippy and Runny and Sticky. Oh, Ruffy, why did you have to die? <laughs> I forgot to take his apricot facial off. That's what's going on. Another victim of the great Honey Dijon disaster. Astronauts report conditions. Oh, I should have brought a Kleenex. Minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds in counting. Resurrection in T minus 15. 15 seconds. The Lord's main boosters have ignited. <laughs> I got this flashback Five. memorized. Ignition sequence occurs. Should have had his colors done. Five, four. 
It's like when you can't get a song out of your head. Hey, hum, season's in the One. sun. That should dislodge it. Lift off. We have a lift off. And this flashback just sort of peters out at the end. They'll pick up courtesy phone. They melt somewhere else, they melt loser. Melt okay. Oh, man. I can't eat another couple. I am so full. Well, better get cleaned up. I'm reading the gospel tomorrow. I could really use a drink about now. Give me a drink! I just yet. Another road I want to check out before we go back home. That'll make two whole roads. You know, Doctor, I was married once. I had a good wife. What's the matter? Are you afraid to go home? No, I'm not afraid. I can take her. I'm ashamed. I don't deserve to be Ted Nelson. <laughs> wow. Won that little scanning contest, but it cost me. <laughs> Dad, Tommy spilled your wood glue and pushed me in it. You plants are getting way too fat. You don't need very much water, do you? No, you don't. That's it, baby. Yeah, what did that spider fur now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, they specifically moved to an outer ring suburb to get away from incredible melting men. I'm enjoying my 70s lifestyle. <laughs> uh, tell me when the camera's rolling, okay? Kipe that banner from a Catholic church. <laughs> I'm knitting myself a new husband. I'm glad there are no books or magazines in this home. There is no reason for us to have any reading material. This will keep the general warm for his next nap with us. He's Pillsbury Cinnamon Glaze Man. <laughs> this is basically the same story as Frosty the Snowman. I'd love to go in, but I don't want to melt all over their carpet. Which way am I facing? He's right. I should have anticipated his cracker needs. That's an enormous booty. <laughs> yeah, Ted's lucky to have married a pistol like her. Hey. Is he crying or dripping? I'll stop the world and melt with you. <laughs> wow, she's knitted a lot of pillows tonight. Remember when everyone had one of those giant black velvet moth posters? All yeah, right, well, nothing's happening here. I got stuff to do. Ah, she dropped a stitch. Kids? <laughs> Is that you? Just rubbing my legs together. Don't mess with the timpani, honey. I had a tune for the mauler. Ayerto, is that you? The melting man just needs to borrow a kettle to melt into. <laughs> Careful, the paneling is out acting you. Although this kitchen is badly decorated, it's not inherently terrifying. Hmm. You're right, the paneling is less wooden than her. <laughs> I didn't do it. I found it this way. Oh, yeah. It dragged the milk out of the fridge and dropped it on the floor. I'm Dr. Ted Nelson. Take it easy. 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 Well, I have to check you into the sanitarium again, honey. Okay. You're 
better. A little bit. Yeah. It's like hugging a broom. Come to Melting Man Farms and pick your own Melting Man. You know your Melting Man's diet consists solely of eucalyptus leaves and human flesh. That's all. Guess I've been behaving like an ass lately, haven't I? What do you and the audience think, have I? I don't know how to handle these things. I, I am a doctor. Not a belly itcher. I am not a policeman. I know my mother's dead. Rubbery trolls everywhere mourn her passing. She's dead. Yes, honey, we went to the funeral ten years ago. I know my mother's dead. Judy, I told you that we never She's found dead. it. Honey, Seinfeld's on. I can feel it. Look, darling, we're going to leave her out for the polar bears anyway. She's dead. Don't ask me about my day. I just don't, I, you know, I'm, but, <laughs> ah, that's what this film needed, country music. <laughs> <laughs> Euford Pussy, eating tall. Yeah, this is an area that needs heavy patrolling. Well, I hope she's not using the lemons like Susan Serene. Oh. oh, God, her hips are blocked. Nelson's not here. He isn't. Nelson isn't around. Man, there's teeth and wigs and trusses all over the place. Oh. Either they brought a dish to pass or that's their entrails. Ah, yes, country music. An ironic testament to their tragedy. Of course, you know, old people are easier to tear apart. <laughs> See, are we allowed to keep roadkill in this state? <laughs> All right. That is guaranteed to make you sleep. There is some gigantism associated with this drug. Okay, I'm going to go out. And get some more of this stuff. See the sheriff now. But the good General Perry is going to be here with you the whole time. So don't worry. Okay? I won't be gone long. Mm -hmm. Any of this getting through? Careful. I will. Wow, she's radiant. Take care of yourselves. We wills. Oh, kid. Sure. Hello? Movie? I'll see here. Fire start. Start fire. Fire. General, would you do me a favor and uh, stay with Judy while I go out and meet the sheriff? Of course, Doctor. I'd be glad to. There's some uh, leftover turkey in the refrigerator if you'd like to have something to eat. Okay. Uh, sounds good. What about you? You really should eat something before you go out. No, I'm not hungry. I couldn't hold anything down now, General. <laughs> Why don't you just call me Mike? Even though my name is Trent. Okay. And I'm... Uh, Pregnant, too. I'm sorry about before about losing my composure with you and your lady. It's just that this, this whole thing's really got me uptight. That's all right. Did I take anything out to thaw? We just weren't prepared for anything like this. But I did get the lead in the Coleman Francis story. Nasty mess. You can't go by the book. There's nothing in the book. There's no way to cope. And there's a clock there. They have just seven hours to go. Until Captain Kangaroo... Can you stop it? No way. I don't follow you, my friend. No way. There's a face you have to get used to. Get back as quickly as I can. I'll guard the beer. Mm. I'm here for my dermabrasion with Dr. Ted Nelson. Oh. Well, I suppose I could reminisce about my countdown again. That would kill some time. Mitchell. <laughs> Sounds like a juice harp with a whammy bar. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, could you guys snag me some Diet Coke while you're out? He's gonna steal back his snowblower. Uh -huh. huh? What? What? I was just finding my light. Well, I'm... Okay, okay. Let's see, beer, beer, baking soda, brown mustard, beer. <laughs> God, I love you.
This man is a brilliant tactician. Mm -hmm. Beer, turkey legs, stripped down to my underwear, and some porn. I'm all set. Yeah. Oh, he's soaping his windows. He's gone too far. This is a very moist movie. Couldn't they just put Ibid up on the screen for these? <laughs> ah, yes. Meanwhile, her baby is discovering the wonders of goofballs. Uh, could you turn some of your lights off? We're kind of getting it next door. Ma'am, could I borrow a drop cloth? Just, uh... Oh, man, now it's hit my sinuses. So is this the incredible part? What did go on here, Doc? During the Ice Age, glaciers moved through... Oh, you mean recently? Listen, you better tell me what's going down around here before there's nobody left in this town. Well, to begin with, I'm Dr. Ted I Nelson. I can't do that, Neil. It's classified. For God's sake, Doc, people are dying. God, have I got gas. Judy's mother. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Of course it means something to me. I'd have run you in. What for? How about aiding and abetting a criminal? Oh, I wish I could tell you, Neil. I would <laughs> like to be able to tell you. Come on, Doc. Now, I'm going to find out just what is going on, and neither of us is leaving this spot until I do. What a knob. That Perry character's got something to do with this, doesn't he? Yeah. I've seen plenty like him when I was in the Army. Damn it! He's got brass written all over him. Listen, Ted. I got a right to know. Oh, it is Mike. All these people that have died. They're my people, Ted, and yours. I don't own them. They don't got my name on them. <laughs> if I tell you, I want you to promise me... Doc, I can't... No. <laughs> do you or do you not want to know? I want to know. Then you tell nobody, not even your wife. You know I live with Mom. <sighs> well, can I hit you with my flashlight? You know I'm not married, Ted. <laughs> I know, I was just trying to hurt your feelings. I'll tell you about it on the way. Now let's go find him. Find who? I thought you knew. This scene has been over several times and they just won't admit it. <laughs> tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps at its petty pace from day to day until the last syllable of recorded time. That's right, and next I'll spectate it. Will you be Mrs. Turkey Leg Perry? Ah, well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I should call up some of the other generals. 19, 20, 21, 22, swallow. Mm. Wonder, wonder what Colin is up to tonight. There's pudding in the melting man to make him moister. Where could I hide this? Let's see. <laughs> Whoa, good thing the old lady's asleep. <laughs> Let me give you a big kiss. Oh, we saw that in Cape Fear. Meanwhile, in limbo, Houston, we have a problem. We're so lost. Well, I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to take a quick look at Judy before we started the search. Is she alone? They're floating. <laughs> no, Perry's with her. The fridge? <laughs> When's the baby due? Don't talk about our baby, Martha. Not for some time yet. It's your first, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> yes, it is. Yep. I delivered a baby once. Right back there. Smell, that's right over there. Your finger seat. smells. Oh, Ted, the door's open. Oh. Say, Uncle, say, oh, oh, gotta go. Oh no, a speed bump. Center car on general. Ah. Hey, what's the general? Somebody took and left a perfectly good general laying in the middle of the road. Judy! Judy! Don't eat the rest of the turkey! Let's make a pretty good dip with taco chips. Meanwhile, on Martha's Vineyard, Well, I sure had a good time at the car wash, Fred. 
That person looks a lot like Bonnie Franklin from a long way off. <laughs> Some enchanted evening, you may meet a redneck. You may see a redneck across a bingo hall. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> this one's fine. Uh -huh. yeah, Oh, now, Jesus, did you leave the door open again? Uh, you were the last one out, not me. Mm. I was. Oh, don't you remember? You went back in to check what time the movie started. And he grabbed the one-hitter. You're right. That's right. What time did the movie start? <laughs> oh, did you sneeze really hard on the door handle? Oh, what the hell is this stuff? Did you have your stigmata again? I don't know. You know, there's something strange going on here. I want you to wait outside. I'm going in. No, I'm going Wait here. here. I'll throw the baloney out to you. I'm gonna go listen to some ELO. We're missing the beginning of Hee Haw. I wanted to talk about the Jim Varney film. <laughs> there's nothing the matter. You're okay. That's all it counts. <laughs> I'm fine. If you could just let go. Here. He was outside here screaming and yelling. Doc, come here quick! The general is still dead. Everything's going to be just fine. Looks like I'll have to drug you again. God, she's beautiful when she sleeps. <laughs> well, no, I guess. Matt? She's a strange cross between Barry and Cindy Williams. Yeah, didn't she sit behind the sweat hogs? Mm hmm. I'm starting to get Nat stoned. Now, this scene is lit. Hey, sorry, babe. I forgot you were out there. Geez, how long does it take to check a double wide? I hope no one disturbed my back issues at Crawdaddy. I'm going to make up a pitcher of slow screws and put some hungry man dinners in the oven and fall asleep on the couch until they burn. Do pork rinds need to be refrigerated? Um, well, hey, who cleaned up? I guess he decided to defrost. That's a good idea. There's got to be a jello shooter left. Ah, from the Rhoda Morgenstern line of clothing. Matt? I thought we were going to have beery sex. <laughs> I got to go yodel groceries. There's a UFO hovering over the shot. <laughs> oh. Honey, North Dallas 40 was really good, didn't you think, honey? Honey, you don't mind if I put on Eat a Peach, do you? Oh, I wish someone would get killed just so we could move on. Bring us back to the melting. Uh, this is a little game they play. He jumps out of the dark all pale and blotchy and nude and hairy. And... <laughs> is someone eating the tuna wiggle? Come on, other people have to use the toilet. The a track ain't flirting with disaster! I never liked where this was. <laughs> Come on, mollify him with a Mickey's big mouth. Oh, almost lost a rhyme for uh, There, now what's next? Oh, the Give me the number for 911. Tickets left for 38 special. <laughs> Use your words. Oh. Surprise, they still don't have their Christmas lights up. <laughs> Where the hell is that lemon zester? Hang on, I'm gonna fix you a bullhead omelet. The Calvinator's coming to attack her. Huh, what does this do? Yan can cook. Meow. Has she considered just leaving? <laughs> My life was going so well until now. Oh, ho, 
Yes, you'll still be able to play the piano. That was weird. Well, back to the intruder in my house. <laughs> oh, good. Now we get to see the rest of the place. <laughs> Got milk. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they have a racehorse tied up to the wall? Oh, great. Now the acid kicks in. Director's niece, ladies and gentlemen. Director's niece. Not one of these people have been in their underwear. What a ripoff! <laughs> oh, I should send this in to life in these United States. <laughs> Apparently, deer have been nibbling at the woodwork. God, I hate this wallpaper! <laughs> How's your wife? She's okay. She slept right through it. What do you want? Are these your begonias? That thing near his hand. Think it could be part of... The plot? You know. No, I don't know. Don't touch it. it might be radioactive. No. Now, the poultry industry has problems. I gather you haven't told me everything, have you, Doc? No, I haven't, man. See your light. Just as I suspected, Lloyd's extra smoky. What is it? What's so funny? Uh, Caroline in the city last night. It's a turkey leg. <laughs> One-legged turkey did this? General was a friend of Steve's, too. Steve, too. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I guess Steve has really had it. Headquarters, call it Sheriff Blake. Huh? Sure, call you can use my flight. flashlight. Sheriff, do you read me? Go, Nora. Sheriff, we got a call from Nell Winter. She's, she's in some sort of trouble with some guy that ran in there and, and he got mad at I'll get right on it. <laughs> Doc, come on. I think we found a boy. Here's the wind-up. I can't just leave Judy here. I can have a car here in five minutes. Come on, let's go. Come to my window. Give her a wire monkey and see how she reacts. <laughs> I smell urine. Oh, that's right. Where's the cheese whiz? <laughs> you got any beer? No! No! Please, could I just use somebody's bathroom? Losing his arm has given him the ability to run. You always were a good judge of men, Deathstalker. <laughs> Ah, Sullivan's Travels, of course. He's got moths stuck to him, cigarette butts, lint. He's just picking up everything along the way. Hobo dinner again. Don't let him hear us. We're almost on it, too. And wipe off the mouth when you're done. The answer to whatever happened to Jethro Tull. By this time, it should be melted down to a little stub. God, I've never seen a man puddle like this. Forget it, he's not talking. Come on, let's go. Hey, bye, lady. Take care. Let us know what happens. <laughs> Trailer for sale. Rent. Room. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hi, Crow. Hey, what's the matter, little Stroheim? Oh, hi, guys. Uh, the focus group from the preview audience of my Earth vs. Soup film is about to start. Oh. I'm Ooh. too nervous. Mm. I'm going next door for a beer. Okay. You did... Wait, we don't have a next door. Let him go. By show of hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all, all didn't like the film. Okay. How many people did like the film? They liked the film? Cindy, you didn't like the film, and now you have your hand about halfway up. So maybe you liked the film a little bit. Would that be correct? Okay, we'll get back to that. Okay. 
What about the film didn't you like? The film we just saw, Earth vs. Sue. What was it about you didn't like or didn't care for? Say, the plot or... Yes, Gary. Uh, the plot? The plot. Gary didn't like the plot. How many other people didn't like the plot? By show of hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we all didn't like the plot. Why? Why didn't we like the plot? What was it about the plot that we didn't like? Doug, why didn't you like the plot? I like the plot. I just thought it was too short. Ah, you thought it was too short. Okay. What were your favorite characters from the film? If you had one favorite character, who would that character be? The film you just saw, Earth vs. Soup, a uh, favorite character such as Mike or... Cindy, yes. Mike. Uh, Cindy liked Mike. How many other people liked Mike? By show of hands? One, two, three. Okay, three people liked Mike. All right. How many people have an allergic reaction to shellfish? Allergic reaction or... Mild reaction. A mild reaction to shellfish. So, Tony, would this keep you from recommending this film to a friend? Yes. Yes, it would. Yes, it would, because you don't like shellfish. You wouldn't want to see shellfish in a movie. Okay. What if the soup were a different kind of soup? Say it was a, a chicken stock or, or something like that. Would, would you recommend it to a friend if it was a potato soup? Yes? Okay. Cindy, uh, you had your I hand... I don't uh, like soup. You, oh, you, that's right. You're the one who doesn't like soup. <laughs> What's that, Gary? <laughs> uh, Gary would like a sandwich. <laughs> How many people would like to have seen Julia Ormond naked? Julia, one, two, three, four. So about half. Half would like to see Julia Ormond naked. Um, what, if you had a rat cage strapped to your face. Again, say, guys, we've got a lot of work to do. We had 68% walkouts. We have to get those numbers down. Also, 74% of the audience didn't like the character of Cruella de Vil, and even though the character wasn't in the movie, we have to change those numbers. Would you like to see more crackers in the film? The big kind of crackers or the small oyster crackers? Saltines. Saltines, yes. Good, excellent. Seen anybody around here? We've seen each other. Does that count? We ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Harvey Firestein. I'm in your head. <laughs> Nancy. Who's going to meet up with the indestructible man? Ah, the melting man approaches the giant barber shop. Oh, uh, I know this guy wants to put a penny on the track and the train derailed. Hey, you hold it up there! No, Judy! No, Judy? What? How'd he get his gun back? You got me. You, you killed me. Oh, wait, you didn't. I'm sorry. Well, he's got to be slipping all over himself. In color! A Quinn Martin production. <laughs> Now these are the giant brining tanks. The provolone will sit in these for four days. <laughs> Be careful on these stairs. This is where we pump the way out. <laughs> Have you noticed how not a single power plant and not a single movie has ever been locked or inaccessible? <laughs> hmm. While I'm here, I'm going to find out why my bill was so high last month. He's down there. He's right here. He's right here. Right here. Tell us. Tell us. Hey, how'd he get a shotgun? Ahead is the Alien 3 set to the left, Robocop, and Terminator 2. the little guy. Hey. Well, he's melting, but he's wily. Hey, stupid. Doc, there he goes. Come on. Move. Move. I should just move to a new town, start a new life for myself town where melting people are accepted. Hey, this would make an excellent fort. No time. Watch out for the big pile of mucus. <laughs> He's dressed like every high school burnout. <laughs> this park is keeping me really involved in the movie. I think the Western Avenue L comes through here. You guys know, is there a credible melting man? You go that way. And watch out, he can do the 440 in 10 seconds. Oh, yes, they call in the street. Does he die? And bang goes by. He dies. Das Blech. You know, maybe if he took his arm out of his shirt, it would help. This all sounds like music that was rejected by Wonder Woman. 
Mel, Mel, you in here? Mel. Hey, yo, yo, ma, give it a break. Go hide out in the burn unit until this blows over. The gooiness of the long distance runner. There's your title. <laughs> We've got to get him. I've got to find out why. We need to backfill the justification. Here, take this, take it. You go up that way. I am not the NRA. Picks up his fare. Hey, look at this booger that you shot out of me. <laughs> huh? What is this stuff? I'll clean that up. That's fine. Sorry about that. The incredible melting man. He's incredible meltable. Boy, I haven't been this agile in years. I should try skiing. Hey, what's the spot on my sleeve? I'm bleeding. They turned Barefoot in the Park into an action movie. <laughs> Yeah, the movie comes into sharp focus whenever Ted Nelson is on the screen. Your melting was completely cosmetic and it wasn't covered by your medical plan. Wow, I should have melted years ago. I've never been in better shape. Look at me. Ooh, it's pretty up here. Must remain dull. My advice, never scrimp on a rice steamer. <laughs> okay, okay, hold it right there. Drop your slime. Come on, it'd be like shooting jello. Doc! Do not emote. Who? Who? Doc! What do we do now? Well, if we put throw up powder on him, he'll probably disappear. No, Neil! No! <laughs> no, Neil, don't stop. <laughs> Steve, my God, stop. You're hurting him. Steve, no. Maybe it was a writer in his contract that he'd be in the film, but he wouldn't act. Steve, Oh, Carl Walenda has burst into flames. Wow. Boy, great fireworks this year, huh? Oh. Mm. Oh, why did I go on that high phosphorus diet? <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I just got the wind knocked out of me. You know, immolation is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were playing. No, oh, yeah, it plays much better with these guys. These guys are doing better. <laughs> Dwarf security guard. Boy, the sheriff is like an underground tire fire. <laughs> Must have been dry. He's really going up. Oh, God, he was a very close, vague acquaintance of mine. Steve? Hi, Ted. What can I do you for, Ted? Steve, it's me, Ted. From the trailer cart? No. Steve, I want to help you. Ah, Is that a yes Steve. or a no? Um... Steve? One of us must Steve. be Steve. Stunt guys can't hold me up any longer! It's Ted Nelson, Steve! Oh. <laughs> it's me! Steve! Please, it's Ted Nelson! We were gonna oh, open an exotic Steve. candle store together! No! Steve! Steve! Uh, these two tested well with big, lonely Steve, white guys. Help me, please! What's going on up there? Help me! Grab a nose hole and pull! Steve! I can't hang on, Steve! Help me! Steve, help me! He's gonna slide off, so be careful. Oh, good. Hey, you're not gonna pull me up and just pop me in your mouth, are you? Go ahead, just use my ribs like a ladder and pull yourself up. Steve, 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 
Start for a fire! Don't know what. Don't! 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 Ted Nelson! Blam, 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 blam! Listen to me, I'm Dr. Ted Nelson! Wasn't far off. Whoa! Hey! Oh, uh, no relation to Ted Nelson. Nope, nope. Okay, you're not just firing at Dr. Ted Nelson now. Ruining my shirt, this is a J. Crew! <laughs> so it was all a dream. No, oh, no, oh, well, I really tucked into that security guard. I am stuffed. Boy, the thing they say about cellular phones, it's true. I wonder if this is going to affect his veterans' benefits. Oh, solvent, my favorite beverage. Oh, honey. Oh, I could just fart, I would feel so much better. Somebody's going to throw him on a hockey ring. Oh, no. <laughs> me? I'm soaking in me. Man, it would really hurt to splash on sea breeze right now. Yet he still sees 2020. <laughs> I'm melting. You do that. <laughs> it's best to just let the Ebola virus run its course. Mm -hmm. You know, he may not recover from this. This is why a gentleman should always carry a hanky. Mm. <laughs> Maybe if I could just keep down some saltines and ginger ale. <laughs> oh, he just threw himself off. <laughs> well, his irritable bowel syndrome is really acting up today. In a moment, the results of that trial. Dawn in the Serengeti. What could there possibly be to wrap up? Everybody's dead. <laughs> well, the movie has to mop up after itself yeah, now. <laughs> Ted Nelson was found alive and of normal size. There was no melting man. This is so ironic, because remember how he hated metal stairs? That's right. He was pitching guards last night and won three bucks. Huh. Hmm. Okay. And let's check back in on our Dr. Ted Nelson. <laughs> ah, this is what it looks like behind Chili's. <laughs> zippity doo da, zippity a. It's the Cat in the Hat Factory. I have been to the proletariat zone. I'm Garrison Keeler with the Riders' Almanac. Stay well, do good work, and don't melt. <laughs> so he was tomato-based then. Well. I hate it when dogs explode. Geez, now I got a hose buzz all when there's somebody off the building here. Yeah. Never understood white people. <laughs> This is what happens when you give a young makeup artist a free hand. Astronauts report. Feels good. Yeah. Better go get into the capsule. 20 seconds and I've never seen anybody throw out that much manicotti at once. Seconds. Guidance internal. Okay, all set for the rodeo. 11, 10, so how many monster nine, movies end with a janitor six, scooping six, a monster six, into a garbage six, can? Five, four, three, two, one. Blooming space program with loud report. Light and get away. Cape Kennedy was renamed Cape Ted Nelson and quickly renamed Cape Kennedy again. So they learn nothing. Yep. Well, I learned something, Mike. I learned doctors don't care. Hmm. I learned that uh, Southern California can get cold enough for a snorkel jacket. I learned never to name a child Bird. <laughs> Mike, I've written a short sketch about Burr de Benning. <clears throat> Hi, what's your name? Burr. Oh, here, take my coat. Now, what's your name? Burr. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Kill me. Well, I uh, also learned never to scream, I'm Ted Nelson, to a security guard. 
I learned that uh, half-eaten turkey legs make very tepid, ironic statements. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned it's good to have saltines around your house. I learned that sheriffs are full of pyrotechnics. Jonathan Demi? Ah, who cares? Anyway. Well, once again, we learned that NASA is staffed by two or three people tops. And they hire civilian doctors to head up the recovery program. What else? What else? Oh, I <laughs> learned that some nurses can't find properly fitting uniforms. Mm -hmm. You must have learned something else. Let's oh, see. we learned that some cats can open the refrigerator, get the milk, bring the milk into the middle of the kitchen, throw it up in the air, drop it on the floor, shatter it all over the place. Beautiful. That's a good lesson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we also learned that if you're a melting man, you can have a short but highly successful career as a sprinter. <laughs> <sighs> Me, I learned that I should never marry a passive and mobile doctor named Ted Nelson who doesn't ever do anything. And I certainly shouldn't have his baby. I think that's very Those sound. Are good mm. How about you? Well, you know what? I learned that I could use the word hajka as an expletive, if Ooh. necessary. Yeah, hajka, indeed. Yes. I learned that if you're going to have a general over for dinner, you better have turkey legs and beer on hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, well, uh, we learned that lights and lighting aren't really necessary to make a film these days. And neither are actors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I learned that I shouldn't go to Saturn unless <laughs> I have the proper protective gear. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Yep. Yeah. Yep, right now much. I'm learning that even though this movie is about 80 minutes long, it feels like Berlin Alexander Platz. Yeah, yeah. I also learned that some sheriffs aren't married. Did you know that? Yeah. I did. I learned it was impossible to look good in the 70s. <laughs> learned that even if you chop a monster's arm off, it'll only make him stronger and more powerful. Yep. And I learned that you can just fill in crucial elements of the plot wherever it's convenient. Yeah, I did not know that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we've learned that if you're put in charge of an urgent, top-secret government project, it really doesn't matter if you do anything. Yep. Yep. Well, let's go. And we learned that sometimes people can abuse spirit gum and latex. Oh, here you go. Well, Crow, this is it. This is the day you find out if Earth versus Soup, the project that has dominated your life for uh, years. Well, years, yeah. really. Gets green lighted for release. You nervous? Mm -hmm. Hello? Crow? Ah! Yeah, just get it. Hi, guys. Everybody here? Good. Good news, people. Clayton, do you want to tell them? Oh, the studio's real excited, and uh, your movie's going to be released. Oh, wow. Excellent. Oh, when's Wonderful. the premiere? Yeah. When are we going to have some rain? Oh, oh, look at the movie and for you. As a trailer. Huh? My movie's going to be a trailer? Uh-huh. This is very exciting. This is good news. We thought this would give us the widest possible release, and it will help us rein in that marketing budget. Well, we still have a lot of work to do. Oh, and there's one thing that we want to ask, and this is going to be covered in that $800. Could you remove your name from the credits as the film's director? Again, this is good news, guys. Uh, just a minute. Let me get this straight. Uh, I come to you with a movie. You supposedly get me $30 million to make it. You take uh, $29.5 million for yourself. I get a lousy $800. I don't get any credit, and my movie's released as a trailer. Oh. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. Uh-huh. That's right. Good. We're all on the same page. Now, I'm going to be at Sundance on Wednesday. I'll be in Paris on Friday and then Cannes on Saturday. So don't try and get a hold of me. Becca, where are those tickets? Becca? Mother, I think I can get my whole head in here. That's nice, dear. Becca, push the button. Becca! Let's get the hell out of here.